Hello everybody. So I want to share with you the importance of when you're communicating or being with a relationship, a partner, to share and communicate honorably and honorably and carefully and treat your partner in a way where your whole emphasis and goal and motto is to help them, to uplift them, to inspire them, to encourage them on in life, to nurture them, to help and uplift and care for them, to be a positive influence on their life in an honourable fashion, an honourable way. For most people at this time do not do this and it takes time and effort and practice to be like this. You have to learn the new way because the old way relationships are full of fighting, disrespect, selfishness, uncaring, hurting each other, arguing, fighting, blaming, attacking, criticizing, putting down. So in this new world, in this new way, we want to be the opposite of the, of the old way. We want it to be uplifting, nurturing, empowering, caring, supportive, helpful, inspiring. We want to be a good influence on our partner. We have to be very careful and prudent with this because we don't want to bring down or hurt our partners, our, our relationship, which will affect ourselves and hurt ourselves. We want to be ourselves in the highest sense, our higher self. We want to reach our potential. We don't want drama and conflict anymore. That's the old ways and the old days. We don't want that anymore. So practice to be all these things to be all of these things within within and from yourself and then share so a very powerful way to talk to our loved ones also or to communicate with anybody is not to be always talking about the topic or the problem or who's right or who's wrong but to, to deeply deeply listen and talk a little bit less to don't interrupt too much only if it feels harmonious but to really focus on listening more, but also to focus on understanding the other person, but to maybe ask some questions, to focus on your feelings and their feelings. You want to understand their feelings. You want to know, let's say, how they are, how you are feeling now, especially, and maybe to share how you are feeling, but not. I feel annoyed because you keep doing this, which can sound a blaming or maybe is blaming, but you want to simply say, as a matter of fact, like like the way you say, it's cold, I'm feeling cold. You say, I'm feeling angry, I'm feeling frustrated, I'm feeling upset, I'm feeling sad, I'm feeling hopeless. And you want to... You want to try generally in your relationships to nurture an openness and a freedom to express how you're feeling emotionally without it being an attack or a blame where you're saying, I'm feeling this way because of you. You want to try to take responsibility for your emotions and your thoughts and how you perceive a situation because a situation doesn't have any meaning. Nothing has intrinsic, essential meaning on its own. It's all about the meaning that we assign and give to something. So, for example, if we're having a discussion or, or an argument or, or a heated conversation, if we give me the meaning that that's a really bad thing and it should, we shouldn't be doing it, and that they're bad and we're bad for doing that, then we will feel bad and, and tense, okay? Where if we give it meaning that it's an opportunity and an openness to learn our lessons, to grow, to understand, to share love and kindness, but especially to grow in our own peace, love, compassion, then we've assigned a positive meaning to the situation and that can have, that we can assign this meaning in anything like our jobs, work, anything in life whatsoever. So when it comes to communicating, it's very, remember it's very important to listen, to take responsibility and to not blame or attack to love and to nurture and treat with civility, treat people with civil, civil and respect, courteousness, treat people how we would like to be treated ourselves, talk to them, I highly encourage and suggest, in my experience it's been fantastic, to try, treat people 
talk to them in a, try try have peace and tranquility in the conversation for yourself primarily because that's where the energy will come from because other people will feel your energy so if you feel upset or annoyed or frustrated they'll feel that they'll pick up on it and you'll also express that in your body language and words so primary importance try yourself to feel calm relaxed at peace centered grounded like a meditative state of harmony tranquility and peace let this infuse your listening and your words your communication this will affect everything powerfully and amazingly it takes practice so we're not all an expert at once and that's what being alive is about we're learning and growing as time goes on and it takes time maybe you could say this is your intention to your loved one or your partner or whoever you have a problem or issue with a lesson a positive challenge a learning experience Share your intention, the meaning you want to give things. Explore the idea of how we can improve our communication with each other. Speak with love and respect, compassion. Care for their feelings. Hate for them to be sad or stressed or upset. Strongly desire for, for you to be a positive influence. Even getting tingles in my body saying this because I feel it so intensely, passionately. I don't want to hurt anybody. I want to be a positive influence in people. I want to help inspire, uplift and nurture. Be positive. To uplift, to, 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 to bring them health and happiness and prosperity in life, thriving. So I want to talk lovingly to them. I want to talk calmly, centered, meditative. I want to feel peace. I want to listen properly. So let's all try this together. It feels really good. It's right because it feels good to me. I feel it's the right way to do it. For me at least feels fantastic nobody wants to fight or be hurt or to hurt each other that's the old stuff the ego games the old world we're moving on it's a new age now in all the calendars the mayan calendars the ayurvedic astrology it's the new age the golden age we've already arrived here guys we've hit it <laughs> we've hit it we're here so let's keep growing and let's keep the ball rolling, the, the snowball tumbling. Pass this message on, this video, other videos that inspire you. Pass on any messages that you feel worthwhile to help your family, loved ones, friends, Twitter, Facebook, community, society. Let's, let's, let's act as we grow to change and help the world. Oh, so beautiful, these possibilities. And here we are in the park in Dublin. It's a beautiful day fresh air gorgeous sky even looking at the sky for five minutes a day is like a beautiful meditation allow peace into your life we're all free we're all equal we're all one human and cosmic family let's all love one another and be self-love to ourselves first and foremost primarily so we're, we're not a, just you know the message we don't want to empty our cup or drain or deplete or exhaust ourselves Let's love and nurture ourselves and everybody and listen and be open to learning and growing and improving. <coughs> you can do this. You are doing this. Thanks for your time. Sending you much love and peace and gratitude. Infinite joy, abundant blessings. Best day ever be with you. And peace, love and compassion and respect to everybody in, in our challenging times. Let's give positive meaning, okay? And be open to learning. Thank you. Good, God bless. Goodbye. See you next video. Stay tuned. Gorgeous. I love the outdoors. <laughs> Bye, everybody. See you next time. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Love to hear from you.